Hey y'all, this is Solus. What's up, this is ODH. And we're on the Review Club, and today we will be reviewing King of the Wolves by Alpha P. Are you already like getting the lyrics down? Yeah, I'm just harmonizing. It's fire, like the name. And there are like a lot of influences in his sound. And that's a great first track for a yeah. project. Yeah. But um, yeah, I feel like it's a good track and like he's great, right? Off of that first song alone. But like because his sound reminds me of so many people, yeah. if I heard this on the radio, yeah. I wouldn't know that this is yeah. Alpha P. I would have guessed like five different names before him, but it's a great, great track. Rema. Malik Berry, Malik. Rema, um, Party Next Door. No, this would not be Party Next Door. You can't hear the influence, but you can't hear Party Next Door. Like, nigga, what? Oh, wait, in a, in, a, in a way, I can hear Party Next Door. I get it. Mm. So, I can, like, this could be like Burn a Boy, like, mm. years oh. ago. Like, yeah. like, it could be like, yeah, like an experimental Burn a Boy, like if Burn a Boy wanted to, like, shake things up a bit. That's hot. It's fire. Like, That's hot. Just like track one, like. Yeah. Right before, like right that. before filming, I said like I don't know who this guy is, and like yeah. I only knew this one song, and yeah. it wasn't something I'd stream, but like. I'm gonna get this on my phone soon, so. Yeah, it's dope. It's I'm, like, I'm a convert. I'm like, two for two, definitely. Why are you talking about me? I'm not hearing any. <laughs> it's not my favorite. It's my least favorite mm -hmm. thus far, but it's still good. Yeah. And he's 17. Allegedly. Google. Google told me that. That's crazy. No, but it's a decent song. It's a good. No, it's a good song. Like, I feel like that's like a less evolved Burna Boy song. Yeah. Like, like that could have been a song recorded for the Gift album, but it didn't make the cut. Mm. Yeah. Mm, perspective, true. It was a uh, similar. That's, that's the word. Nah, track four is a bop. It's it a bop. It, it like took a different lane from like the first couple of songs like that gave me like heavy Rama vibe which is, Rama which is a problem but like yeah like you can't bro. blame him like they're both in the same like time all I'm and saying is call yourself on the track let us know if this is you or it's Rama like if I listen to that fair like, enough I'll go on Twitter and I'll like yo that Rama song and I'll start tuning the lyrics what song is that blah 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 and I'm trying to I'm just saying like, yeah but like yourself. it's not his fault like Rama blew before yeah but now him. that has happened like just call yourself on the song like, fair enough it's a bop though record on my studio 100% would stream, stream it <laughs> I was ready, like singing the lyrics, like yeah. it's catchy. Yeah. Dude, it's so hard to stand out in this industry. Like, you can be so talented, but like, what else have you got? Like, something has to be the thing. Bro, those are backing vocals are crazy. Mm -hmm. I wish you yeah, could Yeah, I want to see right them with like headphones on. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Shout out to the engineers, man. You guys don't get love, but I'm showing you love right now. That, that's amazing. That's hot. That's not a typical Nigerian song, you know. Mm -hmm. It's definitely not Afrobeats, but, you know, um, more like pop. Or should I call it, um, yeah, that's a track I would see The weekend listening to and be like, you know what, I want to hop on that, you know? Yeah. That's that's an amazing song, like, from the beat, like, it's really deep, you know, you have the chords, you have the drums, and the kind of drums, like, you hear some, like, a, 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 there's a lot of reverb in it, and it's like, so amazing, yeah. It's, it's okay, <clears throat> well, I feel like in the project, he tried to show us different sides mm -hmm. to him and his sound, mm -hmm. which is really great for a first project. 
Yeah. Um, he's incredible. Like his sound, like he knows what he wants to do and he's doing yeah. it. He has incredible engineers backing him up. True. Um, I just feel like he needs to work on Branding. being yeah branding and being more yeah. distinct like we have to know an alpha p song when we hear it because these are all five great tracks but if i heard five of them at different points in time i wouldn't have guessed him to be yeah. the artist yeah so yeah great sounds just you know more work needs to be done yeah the guy just needs to brand in general you know there's a difference between coco gary and regular gary what's the difference coco gary is branded and regular <laughs> gary is on the street Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna give everything a four. I think everything is a solid four. Production five. You have the mixing, like a lot of the Nigerian songs are good, but they're not mixed properly. Like it's not just about beat. Like it's you know, again, if you're making a job rice, it has to bang all the way. You know, so don't say oh it was whack rice you use. No, everything has to bang, everything has to come out right. So it's a five for me. Production wise. Oh, four. A solid four. A solid four. Hey y'all, it's your girl Solis. What's up, what's up, your boy ODH. And we just reviewed Alpha P's yeah. debut project. Yeah, What's it called? King of the Wolves. King, King of, of the Wolves. Wolves. Yeah. And this is Alte Daily. Daily. Review Club. Subscribe. <laughs> Keep it locked. <laughs>